In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a virtual environment on a Windows machine. Now, if you already closed out your VS Code window, go ahead and open up a new one and make sure you open up the specific directory we created a couple lessons ago. Now, what we want to do is we want to select Terminal and we want to select New Terminal. And this is a awesome feature with VS Code. It allows us to have an integrated terminal within our VS Code window. And this terminal is fundamentally no different than a regular terminal within Windows. It's just built into VS Code so that we don't have to keep flipping between different windows. And if you actually take a look at this right column, we can have multiple terminals open and we can even use different terminals. So the default one on this machine happens to be PowerShell, but you can also use Command Prompt if that's what you prefer. So if you select Command Prompt, it's going to create a new terminal. And you can see that this is a traditional command prompt. So I'm going to use this one because that's the one I normally use. However, if you're more comfortable with PowerShell, feel free to use that. Now, the command to actually create a virtual environment within Windows is py-3-m dash dash vnv. So that stands for virtual environment. And then you want to give it a name. So give whatever name you want for your virtual environment. You could name it after your project name, or you could just do what I do, which is just call it vnv. And what I like to do is for all of my projects, I give it the same exact name. And that's perfectly okay because this virtual environment is going to be isolated to this project directory. And so even though this project has a virtual environment named VNV, I can create another virtual environment in any other project with the same exact name. And they're all going to be isolated to that specific project folder. So go ahead and hit enter. And take a look over here. You'll see that a folder was created called v uh, virtual environment or VNV. And that's going to be the name of this folder is always going to refer to whatever name you gave it. So if I named this cookies, this would open up a new folder called cookies. And if you want, you can take a look at what's in here. And if you go under script specifically, you'll notice that we've got our Python executable. So this is going to act as our new interpreter. Uh, and so what we want to do is right now we are using our global interpreter and we want to change that. We don't want to use the global one. We want to use the specific one in our virtual environment. Uh, and that way we can install packages that are exclusive to just this specific virtual environment. And so to do that, go ahead and select view once again. And we want to go to command palette and then search for Python select interpreter as usual. And then you'll see the one we're currently using, but we want to pass in our newest one. So select enter interpreter path. And then we want to give it the path to our interpreter, which is the path from the root of our project directory to this python.exe file. So we're going to say dot, which is our current folder. So this is going to be the fast API folder. And then within here, we want to go into uh, scripts. And then within scripts, well, sorry, we want to go into the virtual NV folder, then scripts, and then python.exe. Go ahead and hit enter. And then if you look down here, you'll see that this gets updated. So now we're still using 3.9.6, but we're using our virtual environment. Uh, and so that's all we need to do. And it should remember this every time we open up our project. However, double check every time you open them just to make sure you're using that. If it's for some reason moved back to the default one, just do the same process. Now, the second thing that we need to do is we need to make sure our terminal is also using the virtual environment. Uh, and so what we want to do to do that is just type in uh, the path to this specific activate.bat file. So this is going to activate that virtual environment within our command line as well. So I'm going to say uh, virtual NV. And then we want to pass in our scripts folder and then activate.bat. Hit enter. And then notice what's changed, right? So when you're using a virtual environment, right, you're going to see the name of the virtual environment to the side of it. So always double check whenever you start up VS Code and you start up your project that this is enabled. If you don't see this, then just run the same exact command and that's going to reactivate the virtual environment. And so at this point, we are good to go with our virtual environment and we can start coding out our project.